It's T-Mobile Tuesday. And this week, we get a free Impossible Burger at Burger King. So we're gonna go do a taste test. Well, I look like I'm finishing the rest of our last minute Christmas shopping because I look crazy. Well, that's okay because I'm having an allergy attack. What's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews and we talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. It's here, a video that is a long time coming and it's a great time for it because this is when we would go to a fast food restaurant yeah. when you are overdone you're trying to get the holidays all squared away you don't really have time to cook so i could see us getting some fast food so we have t-mobile for our internet for our not for for our cell service yeah and uh yeah they have a deal called t-mobile tuesdays and every week you have all kinds of deals on tuesdays great this deal week, was a free Whopper or a free Impossible Burger. All you had to do is spend $1, which, I mean, not that difficult in the fast food restaurant. Cup of coffee. So we decided we're gonna do a taste test. So Burger King, we have never had an Impossible Burger. Fun fact, the girl did not label which one is which. Put them in the same bag. And I will say this, so I I can kind of figure it out by looking at it once we really one get looks into like, it. One looks but like meat. They look identical. Like okay. they come. This is obviously no bun. They, this is called the low carb style. Okay. So I don't know which one I'm grabbing here. You just know you put one in lids and one in bottoms. Actually, wait. Yes, that's right. So this is the same burger. We both have the same burger here. Oh, okay. So that's the same burger. Yep. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Here we go. I don't know which one we're tasting. We're just gonna taste it, and we're gonna taste the other one. I'm trying to get a little bit of the tomato, the onion, the pickle, the way I wanna eat a Whopper. This is the Impossible Burger. I can tell you right now, because it's like mush. Okay. It's like, it tastes like it's been infused with a smell. <laughs> Does that make sense? Well, let's go on to the next one. Okay. We're gonna put this off to the side. And we're gonna go to this one. Same thing. Okay. Same exact thing. Cut it in half. Pickles, onions, tomatoes. Wow. It's close. Have we not been around like Whoppers enough? We've been having like actual hamburgers to the point where we don't know what fake meat is anymore. Let me try it in You're the gonna middle take here. a piece without the burger? Without the sides. This might be it. No. This has like tendons and like, you know, like it's like taste ground up. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Take another piece of this one without the... No, that's me. Okay. I'm confused. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Sorry, because my nose is a little runny from having an allergy. My attack. last thing is, I think this the is... The first one... Is the Impossible Burger. Is the real burger. What? The second thing we ate is the Impossible Burger. Wow. Okay, so let's hold it up. I am ge genuinely surprised. This is the real <laughs> burger. So this And is this is the Impossible Burger. It's the only way you can really tell is the fake grill marks on the Impossible Burger. Oh, wow. That's the only way you're going to be able to tell. This smells a little. 
funny. Do you want to put this through five things? Five things? Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're going to talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend I this? I am blown away. Okay, so let's start off with number one, the ingredients. Um, there's nothing on the Burger King website, so I went to the Impossible Burger website. I'm assuming it's the same, like, it's meat. Okay, it is. For them. Okay, so here is what is in an Impossible Burger. Water, soy protein concentrate, coconut oil, sunflower oil, natural flavors. 2% or less of potato protein, methyl cellulose, wow. yeast extract, cultured dextrose, food starch modified, soy legomogoblin, okay. salt, mixed tofurols, which is an antioxidant, soy protein isolate, vitamins, minerals, zinc, gluconate, thiamine hydrochloride, which is vitamin B1. That's a lot. Niacin pyrodoxine hydrochloride, which is vitamin B6, riboflavin for vitamin B2, and vitamin B12. And of course, it does say contains soy. And then it says the Impossible Burger contains an aluminum derivative. Aluminums are the family of plants that include garlic, onion, shallots, and others. Which some people can have a, that's like a nightshade, and that can be a very big yep. problem for people. So that's number one, the ingredients. It's a science project. So it was a, a well-executed science project. Let's get to that with number three and tastes and stuff like that. Ingredient-wise. I still can't believe I couldn't tell the difference. Okay, so here's the thing about the ingredient-wise. It's going to cause, in my personal opinion, Major again, we're not doctors or lawyers or nurses or any of that kind of stuff. We're two people who've been doing keto for almost four years and know what things do to our body. This is going to cause major inflammation. You're... Aside from the fact that you're getting in soy, not really good eating a lot of soy in your in your diet, but you got sunflower oil and you got methyl cellulose and you got modified food starch and you got dextrose, it's a science project. Yeah. Number two, does, does it, it keto, keto based on a nutrition label? This is where it really gets scary. Because you got a regular burger, you're going with like, there's no real carbs unless they're adding a bunch of seasoning and stuff like that. How many total carbs is well, there? Well, let's, let's talk about everything. So okay. serving size is four ounces, same as beef. A patty. 240 calories. Okay. 14 grams of fat, 19 grams of protein. Pretty much the same as beef. Ratios. You're pretty much there with beef. Nine total carbohydrates, three grams of dietary fiber, so six Net, net carbs, carbs, as opposed to if you were eating a beef burger, it would be zero. zero. Now, of course, I don't have the nutrition on uh, what a Whopper is, but all you got to do is look up a quarter pound of ground beef, and right. that's what you're going to get. I'd probably go with like uh, 75, like 80, 20. That's pretty much what a Whopper is going to be. But calorie, fat, and protein-wise, yep. it's almost spot on to beef burger, like yeah. 240 calories. You're looking at 1,000 calories in a pound of beef, so... That's kind of scary. It is. I mean, they again, yep. you know, you had a job to do. They're doing their job. Number three, how does it taste? And I'm going to say this. It is indistinguishable from a regular beef Whopper. Yeah. Now, I want to take a step back for a second. Because if you had met me pre-keto and you said, what is your favorite fast food burger? Whopper. Whopper, hands down, Whopper, yep. no competition for me. I thought that this was the height of deliciousness, <laughs> but it has been a while since we have eaten, you know, fast food burgers. We eat burgers at home almost right. every single night. Like we love burgers, right. but now that we're eating burgers from either like Whole Foods with, with jalapenos in them, or we're eating just regular 80, 20 ground beef, now these don't taste like amazing burgers anymore. They taste like the sleeve of burgers that you would get for a cookout when you're trying to feed the most amount of people for the cheapest amount of Which is money. what they are. But back to the Impossible Burger, how does the Impossible Burger taste? It tastes like beef. Like it's scary how much it tastes like beef. Not grade A. No, but it but tastes like beef. And it tastes just like the beef wop. Even if you don't want to say... It tastes like the beef burger that you're going to make at home. When you compare yeah. the Impossible Burger to the Burger King Burger Whopper, yeah. 
If I just hand them to you and don't tell you what's what and blindfold you, you're not going to know which one it is. And I can't believe that they did I'm that. saying that. The only way, even now as it sits here, the only way you really know is the printed on. You can look in the camera and look yeah. at the monitor there and see. One's printed. One has like a printed on perfect grill mark and there's the grill marks. But it even there, natural. when you look at the grill marks on the other one. They're kind of similar. similar. Yeah. So, like, it's, wow. Like, I'm shocked at how, I don't want to say, I could, I can say, if you're going to compare it to a Whopper, how good it tastes. It's not a homemade burger, but for a fast food burger, it tastes pretty good. And honestly, I think it tastes better than, like, a McDonald's burger or a lot of the other fast food burgers. I am shocked. Okay, so number four, how much does it cost? Um, I same. didn't even look at the regular but the price, amount. but we had our choice with our coupon of a dollar for either, or spend a dollar, you got either one for free. I did notice on the menu, it was the same price, whether you got the Impossible Burger or the regular one. And I know on Wednesdays, they have a deal where you can get $2 Whoppers or $2 Impossible Burgers. There you go. So... The price is negligible because it's the, the same, same price as a Whopper. You're comparing it. Number five, would we recommend this? And here's where as much as I'm going to say is the price isn't bad and, you know, the taste isn't bad, I'm not going to recommend this. Why? It's a science project. Yeah. And I, it's got six net carbs per burger, not including your lettuce and your tomato and your onion and your pickles and all that other stuff. Yeah. Okay. Because that's the thing, too. I mean... I don't think that we're saving the planet with this thing, which would be why I think you would order it. Right. And yes, it tastes the same as a Whopper, but like, why do I want all of those added ingredients in my body? As a meat eater, because we are meat eaters. Yeah. So I don't, I don't see the point. And the people who are thinking, well, it's going to be healthier for you overall. I don't, the soybean oil and, you know, the soy protein and all that, like, that's not going to be healthy for anybody, right. whether you're keto or not. Right. Now, I'm going to say, if you're a vegan and maybe you're doing you it for weren't animals. always a vegan and you really miss the taste of burgers, but you don't want to eat burgers because, you know, you love animals, have at go. it. It tastes like a regular burger. Like, I'm shocked. But as far as me being keto, being a meat eater, yeah. I would not recommend eating it simply because of the ingredients in it and then also the fact that each burger is nine total carbs and six net carbs. So pretty much if I'm eating and I'm not going to get a Whopper and not have the onions and the tomatoes and the lettuce, yeah. I'm close to my max total carbs for the day. Eating, eating this right sandwich. what's in front of me. Yeah. And, so. But I will say we've had ripple milk. Right. We've had just eggs. <laughs> we've had a lot of like wish I was the same thing and they've never been this is there. even close to the original. And yep. I think this is the closest I've ever seen. Yeah. And it's 10 times better than the Beyond Burger. Yes. Well, that's going to be today's video. Now, let us know down in the comment section if you've ever tried the Impossible Burger and what you thought of it. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, we have an entire playlist of different types of review videos, which you can find linked right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you can find right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel. Click the little bell icon. That way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.